Dong Tan Beach. We're just a little way south of Pattaya, a city that was a sleepy fishing village until about 20 or 30 years ago when soldiers from the Vietnam War uh, decided to make it into a, a good time where good time girls and boys wreak havoc and make it a mecca for badly behaved foreigners, myself included. And apparently, there are more people on special branches wanted list here than in any other foreign city in the world. Today is like a town, a festival of great antiquity in which tides symbolically let go of the past misfortunes, launching them into the sea on charming handmade cretons, or into the sky on tissue paper hot air balloons powered by disposable oil lamps. A kind of technology that might not get official approval in many more stringent nanny states. The date of these festivals varies slightly from year to year, but it's always in November. These days it's an excuse for family get-togethers over alcohol-fueled barbecues and for shy couples of whatever gender or age to cement their friendship in the warm evening surf. Yeah, if we look a little further afield, we find the good people of India who are also celebrating this weekend the festival of Diwali of light, which strangely also seems to involve leaving one's problems behind, sending things into the sky and wishing for the best for the new year. Look a little further, and in England it's only a week or so ago that the Britons celebrated Guy Fawkes Night with their own rocket-powered excitement. Next week in the USA, it's Thanksgiving. So why is it that all these people are celebrating the same thing at the same time? Something involving rocket-propelled craft being launched into the sky. Something that was so important to these people that we continue to remember the event long after the reason for it was forgotten. Who can tell if it was an expeditionary force headed upward to search for the solution to some earthbound problem? Or maybe repel an invasion from some folks not from around here? Who is to say that some global event in which countless people headed skyward didn't take place countless millennia ago? We might not have the technology just yet, but we will, and soon, and maybe we did all those years ago. I'm a great believer in the principle of Occam's razor. This was first postulated by Father William of Occam in the 14th century. Briefly, it claims that, given any unprovable set of circumstances, the simplest explanation, no matter how far-fetched it may sound, is probably the most likely. Our species are occasionally pretty good at doing something selfless and amazing, something that brings people around the world together in an event of global proportions that does actually change the course of our development as a species. Where I come from, that gets you a whole bunch of gold stars when it's time to move on. But that's not the reason that people do it. People do it because they know making the world a better, safer place is plainly a good idea. There are lots of examples in contemporary culture of people exceeding their normal expectations, simply with help and encouragement of some inspiring leaders. And by the way, helping people does not start and end with you forwarding a pleading and most likely bogus email to everyone in your address book. That just burns coal we can ill afford. Just because we see brave people all the time in the movies doesn't mean we can duck out of being brave ourselves. Well, someone else is sure to do it, just doesn't cut it.
we all have to do the right thing, even if that means not buying that Mercedes or those Manola Blanics this year. We all have to do it, even if that means crawling under the caved-in building, trying to pull people out of a burning vehicle or getting the rope to the trapped child, even if it could cost our life or our hands. Sure, you can say I'm not the hero type, but I happen to know you are, because you're human. Chances are, any aliens watching this can probably apply this logic to themselves too. Thought kills action. If the worst should happen, and you don't make it, Uncle Sleazy personally guarantees you'll get more gold stars than you could shake a rocket at. Karma in spades. No next life as a scabby flea-bitten dog for you. Not so most liars and cheats and politicians. Us regular humans are good at this if we don't hesitate. I see a train coming, but the train is so close, I'm like, what do I do? There's no way the train can stop before this gentleman could get him, get him up off the tracks. So he covered him with his body and pushed him down to a point where the train wouldn't hit his head and held him down under the tracks while the train came and rolled right over the top. What a better way to say to start off the new year than to save, save a life. The word hero gets thrown around a lot nowadays. Nice to be reminded of what one really looks like. Hesitation is the beginning and end of all our problems. God knows, we're pretty crap at most other things. Unless we're hungry, or they pay well. This is your Uncle CJ coming to you from the Mecca of your terminals and the streets of Libyans. Or if I'm right, I'm just saying thanks for looking at Thank you.